Tonight, Atmos Energy is denying it violated state regulations in a Dallas house explosion that critically injured three people. That explosion and the decaying cast iron pipes involved the subject of an ongoing news aid investigation. Good evening, everyone. I'm Gloria Campos. I'm John McKay. While Atma says that it continues to exceed pipeline safety standards, others are coming forward with some new questions for the gas company. Reporter Brett Schiff has more as News 8 investigates. How safe does this look to you? Uh, any moment it could blow up. Sheik Tahuti of Dallas wants the public to see this an old Atmos gas pipeline precariously perched across a ravine on his land, 50 feet in the air, anchored by a rusty cable. This is just ridiculous. Only if it had a support under the bottom because everything's dependent on a cable holding tons that don't have any support. The pipeline is located just a few yards from Tahuti's horse stables and the grounds where children ride ponies every week. He's so upset, he's produced a video expressing his terror any time the creek floods and debris comes crashing up against that pipeline. Admus has not responded to our questions about the pipe, but it has responded to pipeline regulators at the Texas Railroad Commission about this. I turn on the light. And that's when it just sparked up. The 2011 gas explosion that critically injured Domingo Mendez, his wife, and little boy. A few feet from the Mendez destroyed home, an 80 year old decaying cast iron pipe with a 19 inch crack in it. The state cited Atmos for violating safety standards by not having a cast iron replacement program in place. Mendez family attorney Clay Miller has sued and settled with Atmos over this very issue. This is absolutely a preventable accident. Uh, the entire industry, including Atmos, has known for decades that these pipes corrode. Atmos's response to the safety violation has just been filed with the state. Quote, natural gas leaking from the gas main did not cause the Mendez explosion. It says a leak behind the kitchen gas range is probably the leak source. And despite the age and condition of the cast iron pipe that was leaking gas prior to the explosion, Atmos contends there was nothing to suggest this segment of pipe needed to be replaced. Atmos says it has replaced 144 miles of cast iron pipe in its Texas system over the past 12 years. Yet 841 miles remains in the ground, most of it in older neighborhoods in Dallas, Fort Worth, and the Park Cities. Atmos says it will continue to survey and monitor its system and replace any segments it feels are unsafe. Tahuti asks, if this is not unsafe, then what is? This is a time bomb in my backyard. Brett Ship, Channel 8 News.